Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 27 May. Busy day yesterday. Um, just do a little bit of a recap what's going on, obviously. Equities are now in a range. Uh, support down there at 29.75. Resistance somewhere in the stratosphere. On the currency side, Kiwi Yen broke finally this 66 and a quarter. Traded all the way up to uh, 66.98. Now we're looking for some sideways action, and <clears throat> this will just be a proxy of equities from here on out. Um, if you can get some, if you can buy some down near 66 and a quarter, the first trip down there is probably going to be support. Um, 38 the low so far in Asia. Aussie N, same deal, broke up through. Um, we're sellers of Aussie N at 72 there's no real other way to say that we're, we're, we're very firm sellers we we're, we don't normally have this much conviction on a fade um, fading is much harder but we are fading Aussie yen um, between sort of 71.90 and 72.30 the 200 day comes in at like 72.11 just take my word for it um, So this looks a little stretched, and we will be selling this today. Let me just pull up the 200-day here. 72.06 is the 200-day, so this might be a good month end fade. Cable, right back in the middle of nowhere. Nothing really to do here, but Euro Sterling has kind of um, has kind of turned a bit. should be support down at 88.76 but then that becomes a pivot so even though we're right back in the middle of the range if you're bearish sterling this is your play you want to buy euro sterling down at 88 um, 76 otherwise you want to wait for a print and then maybe see this turn further dollar cat obviously did what it did took out all the stale longs. This is a sell today between 138.11 and sort of say 40. All the CAD crosses are in play. You can have a look at uh, CAD yen, which printed um, an interesting high up at uh, 78.18, which matches this high here from April 7th. The real big highs and important highs were 78.50. But if dollar yen could ever get out of its way, uh, which clearly it can't right now, uh, CAD yen might be an interesting horse uh, if you missed the dollar CAD side. Also, Euro CAD is an interesting chart. 150 50. 150 50. Someone send this uh, chart to 50 pips. He can try and get 50 pips on 150 50. It's my best. Uh, urban accent not that great gold crushed um, a lot of still longs out there we've been waiting to get long this stuff I don't know where uh, below 1680 now looks looks like it's not really a certainty but it looks like it's gonna happen um, maybe the maybe the move after we clear stops through 1666. I don't know. We're still patiently waiting for a place to get long gold. Um, equities. Looking for a range, like we said, 29.75 um, support. Pretty straightforward. The support, resistance, no real idea. This could go all the way up to 130 uh, to 3140, no problem. Um, so just be careful if you're fading this. If you want to sell stretch tactical high ones today, you're really looking at one, you're looking for sort of the 3040 to 3050 area. Um, if we see it up there, depending on what's going on, we may we may sell a few. We are uh, super suspicious about price of uh, the S&P 500 here but we're not fighting it you know price is price 
uh, trends are trends and that's an uptrend right and that's 44 percent from the lows um, in two months how you like them apples dollars are dicking around down here um, we were nibbling on the long side yesterday and with not not too much success um, took a few pennies uh, from the market but not paying any bills uh, with dollars are longs right now you get more of a conviction support down here between sort of 1730 and 17 to figure so this little two percent zone looks looks very interesting to buy dollars are um, the macro story in South Africa still is like smells like horse shit um, totally fucked down there so we don't want to own their currency month end uh, is Friday so today's value date month end a lot of the models are, are, are saying different things city saying it's a short dollar Goldman saying it's long dollar um, we don't pay too too much attention to month end uh, sometimes we fade extremes, uh, but you just need to keep in mind uh, month end flows start today. So European afternoon gets a bit dicey and is purely flow driven, no logic to it, just flows. So pay attention to that. Um, finally, Euro dollar. This eye now for us is incredibly important. We're going to call it 11010 because it's just fun like a radio station 1010 news for those of you who grew up in New England um, this is the 200 day and this was the high 21 May obviously you would love to clear um, 110 16 and maybe even 110 20 um, you're kind of assuming that once you're through 110 10 this is going to open up it looks like a classic break trade to me obviously we're predisposed to that kind of trading but um, buying euros through the highs looks like there's some money to be made there finally one last uh, funny chart CAD Swiss obviously we live in Switzerland so we care about uh, some of the Swiss crosses more than others I don't recommend trading this for most of you because it's hard to get your head around exactly what's going on here um, but CAD Swiss is kind of a pussy way of trading dollar CAD, a much lower vol way. And this is an important point. It matches up with that Euro CAD point. I don't want to get into like a trading lesson here, but 7032 in CAD Swiss is important. Let's just leave it at that. Listen, you're supposed to click the thumbs up thing and whatever, whatever monkey business that is. Um, if you have questions, you're supposed to put them in the comments. Uh, it seems like the people who listen to this, the 200 people that listen to this every day on the different uh, social media sites are deaf, dumb, and also, I guess, well, probably not blind since you're looking at the charts, but um, don't forget to do the, uh, the stupid internet stuff you're supposed to do. Um, getting hassled by the guys in Ireland for not saying this every day so I'm saying it anyway as you can see not a whole lot to sink your teeth into uh, at the open let's just take a look at Euro Euro Norway real quick I would not fade Euro Norway um, you know, tactically, we took some money out of it yesterday. When you see a percent in these things, you just you know you just tend to grab it in the tactical book. This could really extend now. Um, there will be some faders out there yesterday. Think about the dollar CAD, how it extended those 80 pips when it looked like it had it had already gone 200, and then it went another 70 or 80. On the bigger picture, this could easily happen in Euro Norway. Crude's 34.14, uh, we're risk on, you know, the destination for this is 10.30, right? You still have 56 handles. So if you're short from yesterday, 
uh, and you want to stay short, looks okay. Um, we like, really like to sell high ones here personally, but careful Euro Norway. This looks like it wants to uh, make a further leg lower. Anyway, I've said enough. Good luck out there, people. Um, talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.